uh, recently, so I watch a silly show. I don't know if you've ever seen it. I apologize to viewers, but it's it's called Jackass. The, this show Jackass, recently they had Shark Week. So Shark Week has existed since, it's like the longest running TV series oh, since I know like 1988. Is this, where the, is this the entrepreneur thing? Shark, or that's a different shark thing? Well, it's Shark Week where they they just talk about sharks and sometimes oh, they'll have I celebrity guests. I, 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 yes. I was thinking of something else. So, so the celebrity guest recently is the guys from Jackass. Now, if you're not familiar with these guys, they just do really stupid juvenile stuff, you know, like teenage boy stuff. So there's that part in me, you know, that Ergo you know, the title. It's, it's it's the testosterone, you know, it yeah. hits your brain and it just boys we love danger yeah. we love getting hurt just doing things that we could you know injure ourselves so hey, let, hey let's we, blow it up right let's just blow that exactly up. exactly yeah, so these the guys fly. exactly so these guys jackass you know they they've done some crazy stuff in the past but they're just featured on shark week so the understanding for them they have this confidence that Shark Week is the longest running series and nobody's really been hurt by a shark for 30 years, you know, since 1988. So these guys do dumb stuff, right? <laughs> go, go ahead. Go. They do dumb stuff. So they're invited to come on the show. But of course, they're going to push the envelope because that's what they do. We took this little baby shark and clamped it on my arm. Ah! Stop! Ah! Great, I just got bitten by a shark. I don't think the footage was used for anything except maybe deleted scenes for Jackass the movie, but it did hurt. You know, if somebody doesn't walk away, you know, in the hospital at the end of the episode, it's kind of boring, right? <laughs> you got staples, you see uh, them? Oh, man. And we got to take those out. There's three screws above and four below. <laughs> so we're done. Was it successful? What's your definition of success? Well, I... Yeah... Able to get red. So they're going to push the envelope like it's never been pushed before. But it's like, I, th I see that as faith and fact is sometimes we have to make decisions that we're personally uh, culpable for. Mm -hmm. So they go on this show and I'm going to show the clip as like a trailer to this to see if we can get people to come along and, and talk about truth and talk about the risk of truth. And whether, you know, because truth can deliver punishment if you get it wrong. That's right. If you're on the wrong side of truth, it can deliver a this severe is, punishment. This is what I make the same point in, in the story of reality. Reality is what injures you when you don't take it seriously. Exactly. the most gnarliest vlog I've ever posted. I got bit for Shark Week. Let me tell you how it all went down. So we get a call from Shark Week. Knoxville goes, boys, you guys want to play with sharks? I said, yeah, what's the worst going to happen? I get bit. And yeah, the worst happened. Yeah, because no one's ever gotten bit on Shark Week before, right? Yeah, it's over 30 years. <laughs> <laughs> You're there for 30 minutes. <laughs> Someone gets bit. And I think, Greg, that truth, that w that hope that we have as believers is the very thing that how we can go through life with joy, how we can overcome, you know, all the challenges uh, that mortality exists, whether it's physical, financial, relational. And then with that hope, which isn't just a, a blind faith, as you said, it, it's reason with evidence. It, it, we have this faith that someday 
that uh, the Lord, God's going to work everything out and we're going to see those people again. You know, the, all our friends and, you know, the older we get, the more we have uh, waiting for us on the other side. And, you know, like the, the scripture teaches that this, this life is just a vapor. It lasts for a moment and then poof, we're gone. You know, we're just a uh, material that, you know, it, it has a shelf life of 70, 80 years. And, you know, anything beyond that, you know, <laughs> That's right, his gravy, so to speak. But uh, you know, and I'm feeling it myself. I'm, uh, I'm, uh, I turn 72 next year, and in, uh, in June, and I, uh, boy, you know, there's more grains in the bottom part of the hourglass than the top. And now you're moving up there too, I can tell. So, yes, but not so far. Um, and we are more. As the older we get, the more we are aware of our own mortality. Though um, even youngsters are mortal, they just don't believe it. You know, um, that's why they do more stupid things. Uh, your buddies yeah. in uh, Jackass, you know, when they're 70, they're not going to be pulling those triggers. I'll tell you what, you know. But the point is, is we have a limited time here on Earth. And, um, and that can be very discouraging <clears throat> if this is all the time we have to make everything that we want to happen, happen. The fact is, we don't have that. This is just the beginning. And there's eternity ahead of us. 